quality now. Oh, damn right. <laughs> In a party of pinstripes, Wilson Tucky sees himself as a link with the common man. If I was the Prime Minister, yeah, I'd, I'd, do a lot, I'd do a lot more about giving the blokes a bit of a say rather than university students that call themselves union leaders. In fact, he'd back himself as a worker against almost any ACTU boss. The call for this came from the people in the union movement like uh, Bill Kelty. How do you think he'd go working a couple of days a week? I'd love to match Bill on a shovel or behind the wheel of a truck or a grade or anything like that. They talked about the white sugar brigade. I classify Kelty and Crean as the white fingernail brigade. Never done a day's work in their life. Oh, you're going to serve or you're going to talk all day? Run another one. Have a mini. Yeah. And a mini. <laughs> Does that make you feel like a normal person serving behind a bar? I've had a couple of them. Right. Where is my man? I nearly lost him. Thanks. Politicians sort of swanning around saying they're meeting people. How, how much value is that? Well, I think lots of times they don't get the true message. You don't get it, for instance, um, wandering around a shopping centre vote, handing out how to vote cards and saying, how do you do? I mean, some politicians do a lot of door knocking. Some of them do the same thing. They knock on the door, hand you a card and leave. The guy that scans and has a chat will learn something. And uh, I'm, I'm into, into having a chat, you know, but partly because I'm a garrulous person and I enjoy it. And two pool cues. And two? Pool cues. Oh, pool cues. Right, I know where they are. Well, I think some of us do lose touch, and the busier you get, the easier it is. I've, I've made a very special point of not losing touch. I think the hotel trade is a great educator of human frailties and all the different things about people. I don't get over time, I just got to work all the time. Why can't you work overtime to make a dollar? Well, I just have to work overtime and I don't get the dollar. I couldn't say of any of my opponents even that they're lazy, but it's the sort of work that requires big hours but not much energy. And, uh, you know, you do a lot of sitting down and a lot of standing around. You don't, you, you're not physical. But on the other hand, your typical politician is working 15 hours a day at his job. Wilson Tucky's long days have landed him a seat on the opposition front bench, but in a role that seems rather ironic given his background. This is a good place for the Minister for Health, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. All, 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 all the cigarettes. Um, we, we the Minister for Health. Shadow Minister for Health. <laughs> we heard it's your voice. Nutty when I knock off. Wilson Ironbar Tucky. Such a shy, retiring bloke, isn't he? Hates the publicity.